very much, Mr Chair. Mr Chair, I want to start um, uh, my uh, speech by congratulating Moana Mackey because it is really good to have relatively young people and I want to say that uh, uh, Moana Mackey um, actually um, uh, celebrate or is celebrating a birthday very, um, very, uh, very soon. But, but uh, Moana Mackey is very, very... <laughs> is very um, aware of the costs of, of being a student. The costs of being a student and the advantages of what happened uh, with the interest-free student uh, free loan. And, and, I'll, uh, and, and I'll tell you, Mr. Mr Chair, that that was one of the, the introduction of interest-free student loans. It was one of the proudest moments, I think, in, uh, in Labour's term of office. And to see um, students just absolutely delighted at having some hope towards cutting in to the principle, to the principle of what they, of the debt that they had taken on and incurred uh, whilst they were studying. Now, as uh, other speakers have said before me, but I'm going to say it again, it was labelled as irresponsible, as... Um, as uh, 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 buying votes, as, as all sorts of things by the National Government, National Party at the time. And they were very, very clear that they were absolutely opposed to it. They thought it was the worst thing uh, that this government could ever do. So I guess that when we're talking about what the name of this bill could be, it could be the, um, well, we actually didn't... Um, didn't get rid of student uh, loan, interest-free student loans bill, and we'll make some technical amendments, but there are other ways to fleece students in this country. And uh, what could they be? What could they be? I can see Paul Quinn thinking, well, wonder what that would be. Well, certainly the ability, the ability and of students in this environment to pay back their loan. And we know the reality is for most students that they study during the year, they have a part-time job, that actually means they don't have to take on so much of a loan. And maybe in the holidays they uh, work during their holiday period and they are able to pay off some of the principal of their loan. Well, that can't happen under this government because has this government done anything, anything to assist work jobs and opportunities, anything to assist um, our industries to actually get through these tough times. No, they haven't. Quite the opposite. So again, students are on the wrong side of that. When they go out and look, and I know that many will, uh, from the other side of the house, think will be quite um, denigrate students, but we all know that students work very hard. They work hard in their studies and they go out and they try and secure employment to assist them during their study time so they can get rid of some of the principal on their loan. Well, that, I have spoken to so many students who have just said that it just isn't possible. Despite the Minister standing in this House and talking about all the opportunities uh, that, that the government is going to give young people, um, we know, uh, in the substance of it, that there just are no jobs or no opportunities mm -hmm. out there. So, Mr Chair, I think that um, certainly uh, along the line um, of this, that this bill is technical, but I think that um, we also need to look at what else is on the agenda. What else is it that, whilst this does certainly no harm to students, what is there that could be on the agenda for students in New Zealand in the future? And we know that there's the veiled threat that we've heard uh, uh, the Prime Minister saying of lifting the cap on fees institutions. So what do we know happens? That when, we, when Labor was in government and they took some very responsible, certainly not uh, supported by the uh, opposition at the time, very responsible moves in ensuring that student fees were, didn't actually escalate way out of control as they did under the national government. Um, now, what, what, what's Mr Keyes refer, referred to it is an inflexible and bureaucratic funding and policy framework. What does that mean? What does an inflexible and bureaucratic funding and policy framework mean? It means a framework that ensures that students' costs don't romp away, that there is a cap on the fees that institutions are able to pay. So that says to me 
very much like tertiary education, will soon move into very much the National Party's market approach to things and that it will be the rich who will be afforded. Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr Chairman, yesterday I was listening to...